Well, oh well, everybody, the wet one back here again for another special unboxing video for you guys today. I received, finally, my, uh, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Black Friday order. Uh, they had, a, like, a little special, um, you know, drop on, uh, Black Friday. It had some, spe you know, special deals going on and things like that. And if you guys don't know, Vinegar Syndrome is a boutique label... Kind of like, you know, Scream Factory, Blue Underground, you know, stuff like that, uh, Aero Video. But they, you know, they specialize, in, you know, in some, you know, straight-to-DVD uh, video titles from the 90s and uh, a whole bunch of other just, like, weird slasher uh, slasher films and things. Uh, but they're starting to put out some stuff that I'm kind of interested in. And uh, I made a... I made a purchase. I'm not sure if everything I ordered is in this, this little thing. It might be. But uh, we're going to be opening this up today. And uh, I do, I do, I have uh, a small uh, Vinegar Syndrome collection. Uh, here's, a, here's just some of them that are just in my room right now. Uh, so here's one of my, re my recent pur pur purchases uh, from them. Whatever it takes with uh, Don the Dragon Wilson and, and Fred Williamson. That comes with like a slipcover and everything like that. Recently I picked up, uh, and during their last sale, the Martial Law uh, 1 and 2 with Cynthia Rothrock. Right here, the, you know, these are VS, some of those ones are VSA releases. Uh, I also picked up this one, you know, off their, la off their last uh, sale that they had. It was uh, the New York Ninja. This is the new, like, you know, box set edition and things like that. Uh, and also, I've, I had this one for the longest time. A pretty damn good set, too. It's out of print now, I believe, the box set version, which is the Amityville, uh, what's it called, the Cursed Collection, that has, like, a handful of the, the Amityville uh, horror movies, like the sequels and stuff in here. It uh, has like Amityville Escapes, Amityville It's About Time, Amityville The New Generation, and Amityville Dollhouse uh, in here. These are all put out by the same company. But uh, in this video, I'm going to crack this open and show you guys uh, what I purchased uh, during their Black Friday sale that they had. So uh, let's find out and see. I know what's in here. You, some of you guys don't. So uh, let's open it up and find out. Uh, what's in here from Vinegar Syndrome's Black Friday sale? And it's, is, it, is it is it just me, or is it kind of weird that they I'm, I'm getting it now? You know what I mean? I ordered it during the Black Friday, and it took some it, it took them over a month to get it here. Is that is that normal? Like I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Do they usually take that long to ship stuff out when when people order them? But um yeah, let me know for people that are like Master Chaos and uh, Mister Mister Tony of the Dead and like all these other people that uh. You know, get Vinegar Syndrome stuff all the time. Like, you know, my buddy Garrett at Born to be Rad and the Dead Pit Boys. Do they usually take that long to, uh, you know, ship out? I'm trying to... <laughs> Man, this is a snug box. Well, I'm not reusing this box. Okay, here we go. Everything's in bubble wrap right here. I'm trying... It's like real snug. There we go. Everything's in this little... Right here. So I'm going to take things out one by one and we'll talk about them. Uh, not by... I can't really talk about them in depth because I haven't... Uh, some of them I've seen only a long time ago back in the 90s or early 2000s when some of these ones came out and stuff. But uh, I picked up um, this right here just for the hell of it. It's a, it's a cassette tape. It's a cassette tape uh, of um, not a CD but a cassette tape. You know what I'm saying? Things that came out before CDs and after a tracks We had uh, cassette tapes and we got the, uh, what's it called? The Slaughterhouse, the soundtrack. The slaughterhouse on cassette tape, uh, right here. I, 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 to be honest, I don't know why I put this in my cart. I think I may got it just to maybe put it on, uh, put it on my eBay store because I saw it selling out kind of quick. Uh, I do have Slaughterhouse uh, on Blu-ray in my collection, and I did watch this one uh, during the VHS era. Fucking great movie right there. Soundtrack. I'm like, okay, what the hell? Uh, I also since um, recently, like I said, I, uh, I since I purchased this one in the, la the last sale of New York Ninja. I was just like, what the hell? I'll get the New York Ninja soundtrack. Because they put that one up on sale. I'm like, because the music of the movie was kind of cool. And uh, so I'm going to put this music to my uh, to my computer. And then maybe put this uh, up on my eBay store after. Because I don't really keep CD a lot of CDs. Or I'm trying not to. Because I can, like, you know, like I said, download the music and then put it onto my, uh, onto my computer. Then maybe put it on my eBay store, the soundtrack to a New York Ninja. Because that music was kind of dope. That music was kind of dope. And uh, I also got I also got this one to try to maybe make some money uh, on it because it, it sold out on their on their website too the New York Ninja cassette tape this is just like the uh, Slaughterhouse one if you guys don't know these are cassette tapes they had two different versions 
of the New York Ninja cassette tape here. They had the re a red version and a green version, and I ended up picking up the green version here. This is what I had as a kid. This is what I listened to music to back in the day. Uh, you know, when I, when I first had a Walkman, was walking around the streets or going to school, doing whatever. Cassette tapes. I know some of you youngins out there may not know what a cassette tape is. It's kind of like... This is this is what we had when we listened to music during the VHS days, for you, for you youngins that are out there like that. But the New York Ninja soundtrack on a cassette tape right there. But the Slaughterhouse one's like in a different kind of packaging, so it's a little bit little bit of a different thing here. But that that's kind of cool. I, those 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 cassette tapes most likely are going to be on my eBay store just for the hell of it. But okay, I do I did buy three uh, movies though, uh, three movies from their their sale. Uh, one of which I believe sold out that night. Sold out that night. And uh, it's it's like a new the new slipcover edition because there's the Vinegar Syndrome uh, specializes in slipcovers, and if you guys are out there slipcover fanatics, um, there's people out there that that, that 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 just buy these things for the slipcovers. It's kind of insane. And this is, but the, but I bought I bought this because I'm interested in seeing it, and it stars Linda Blair, and that is uh it's called the uh, Summer of Fear. And this one has that limited edition slipcover, and this one sold out within like an hour of it going on sale uh, on their website right there. But the, it, it also comes. This is like you know the original release that came out that they had. But uh, if you want like the crazy you know out of print slipcover, this is the the way, only way you could have gotten it. And this is a, a, a West Qua a, a West Craven film that I don't think I've ever seen before. I don't know if I don't I don't know how good it's, how good it's going to be or anything like that. But I, I thought it was kind of cool that they had the slipcover to it during the sale. I'm like, you know what? I'll give this one a chance. And if any, any of you guys have seen this one, uh, let me know down below. Uh, I, I kind of always liked Linda Blair in, the, in different movies and stuff. Of course, The Exorcist and um, Roller Boogie and uh, Savage Savage Streets and stuff like that. But like when I met her in person a couple times, I've always had like a little, I don't know, little bad taste in my mouth whenever I saw her in person like she always left me left, left a bad taste in my mouth if you guys watch live streams I, I've talked about it but uh, I still like the movies some of the movies she's in so hopefully this one's uh, this one's decent and if it is let me know in the comments uh, if it's good or bad down down below uh, I'm gonna save the best one for last so the next one up right here I got is a movie called uh, a movie starring uh, Billy Blanks and Bolo Young uh, who, who's Bolo Young is also the Chinese uh, the Chinese Hercules from some of the martial art movies I watched back in the day. And he's also was in uh, Enter the Dragon and stuff, you know, as a fighter, I believe, at the beginning of the film. Uh, he, he, he's in a bunch of martial art movies. He's, he's actually kind of badass. And this is a movie I, I know I've seen when I during the VHS days. And this is called TC2000. This is one of those ones that comes with a limited edition, uh, you know, you know slipcover right here. I believe it's, a, it's what you call a VSA release. And a lot of these ones come with a lot of like different special features and stuff. Uh, Bolo Young is actually this uh, this dude right here up here. I don't know how good you, I don't know if you guys can make it out or not, but uh, he's kind of badass. Billy Blanks, all right. Billy Blanks is okay, but uh, when it comes to like the more uh, the American martial artists, the, the American martial art movies that came out back in the day, Donnie Dragon Wilson was my dude, and still is, man. It still is. But uh, I got TC two thousand. I had to check this one out. I know, I, I know I've seen it back in the day on the video store shelves, but I can't really remember much about it. But uh, I got it just to add to my collection. But the last thing I got uh, for this, you know, um, my Vinegar Syndrome's Black Friday order I did. When I saw this, I just had to get it, man. Because it, it has Bolo Young uh, in, in these movies as well. And the homegirl, Cynthia Rothrock, who's also you know, been in one of my videos before, and we may m maybe do some stuff in the future, who knows, I'm, I'm not sure, since like the whole uh, corona coronavirus, you know, uh, happened, they kind of put a kibosh on some stuff uh, that, you know, uh, we, we, we were talking about maybe doing, like a little out and about or something like that, but she's always super cool, uh, she even did a voice, uh, one of the voices in uh, New York Ninja, and of course, She's one of the main stars of um, the martial art, the martial art one, martial law uh, flicks that Vinegar Syndrome put out. Big fan of her movies, man. Uh, but this one right here, I had to pick up, and that is Tiger Claws. Uh, but this one is not just Tiger Claws. It's Tiger Claw, Tiger, Tiger Claws one, two, and three. It's the actual um, trilogy of uh, the straight to video, uh, you know, uh, martial art action flicks that came out back in the '90s in 1991. Uh, 1996 and 1999 are the or the way they came out right there, and uh, I don't remember seeing the. Th I know I know I kind of remember the first one, but 
two and three. I'm definitely gonna have to. I'm definitely gonna. I'm definitely excited to check out and rewatch again uh, after all these years. But uh, Tiger Claws, Cynthia Rothrock, you know me and my martial art movies, especially some of the ones that came out back in the '90s, straight to you know, like you know when I found them on the video store shelves and stuff like these ones. I I, I dig that stuff. I know they're they're not they're not amazing movies, you know what I mean? But they kind of take me back to the time where. I was discovering movies and it's like, oh shit, this is, what is this? What is this? And like, you know, pulling stuff off the store shelves. Dude, this is like, this is, this is the original uh, cover that I remember a poster. And this is like the new, the new art. I don't know, really know what to think about this one. But all these ones come with a good amount of special features and I can't wait uh, to dive into them. They're all numbered too, right here. Like a lot of these ones are like uh, limited to like 4,000 or 5,000, you know, kind of thing uh, on these uh, releases that I just showed you right here for the most part. But uh, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today uh, for my Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday haul. Uh, just got them in a lot later than a lot of other people got theirs in. But hey, I made them. I mean, I got, I got it. You know, I got, got finally got it in. And here's uh, my little stack of uh, my Vinegar Syndrome collection that I have. I know I have a few more titles and like you know some of my boxes or tubs I have in my garage. Uh, not a shit ton because I don't buy everything that Vinegar Syndrome puts out. Just, you know, real select stuff, like their martial arts stuff. Maybe a slasher film or two, you know, that they put out that come out that came out in the 80s or 90s. You know, stuff that I remember or had a, had a fondness, fondness for. Uh, they, they put out a lot of weird, strange stuff. But some stuff is kind of cool that they, 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 do, they do release. But, uh, yeah, I did purchase these ones right here. I can't wait to start cracking into them. And like I said, uh, the cassette tapes, I kind of got to see if I can make, you know, make some of my money back. You know, on buying <laughs> buying this kind of stuff, because uh, I don't really collect v you know the cassette tapes and stuff. But I thought it was just kind of cool because I know when I saw the numbers on there, they're they're, they're selling out quickly. It was kind of insane. But uh, other than that, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today for this video. Give this one a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below, letting me know if you guys have your favorite boutique labels. Uh, you like buying from like Vinegar Syndrome, Blue Underground, Shout Factory, Arrow Video. You know, let me know down below and tell me some of your favorite releases that you have in your collection from Vinegar Syndrome, if you guys have any uh, from their company. And I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta.